Oh my! Here comes the bride! Hey there! Congrats! Oh hi there Rosemary! Concentrate Judy! You only got one shot at this! Don't blow it! Yes dad! Dark red? There's my fine lady all dressed in maroon! She's as fine as red wine! How would you know? You haven't tasted her in bed! Hi, <laughs> Everything look okay? Ah, uh, you look great. I'm so proud of Michael. Hey, what gives? There's only like 20 people here. Hey, come on. Watch your mouth. The groom's family is in front of us. Besides, you don't always need a lot of people for a wedding. Sometimes modesty can go a long way. The roses look nice. Of course. You're a rose yourself. Well, it's still not enough. Oh, Miss Flower Girl. One more over here. Thanks. Ow! What the hell is this for? A beautiful rose that you can cherish and give your future bitch. Now shut up and enjoy the wedding. Good morning family and friends. We are here today to wed the Lady Judy with the Sir Michael and have them continue their life together in modesty and harmony. Would anybody now like to give the speech for the upcoming couples? You may proceed now. You'd like to go. Oh, you first. Who is- Well, you can go first. Then me, sure. I'll go yeah. first. Well, I, uh, I just want to say I'm honored today for Judy to let me be her maid of honor. I was one of the first people to meet Judy from our family, and I always thought of Judy as a caretaker and friend from going on trips with her and sharing common interests. I hope that she can fill Michael, Uncle Michael's life with joy. Thank you. Is uh, this thing on? Well, uh, hello. Uh, well, I think that Michael, my brother, can be a honest person. Uh, I think with working with him, uh, uh, as a painter, he can tell his mind at times and show it too. Hard worker. And uh, I think if Judy, his new mate, needs to be told the truth, he can do that. I think of my brother as a funny guy at times, but serious too. And I think that everyone needs that. Serious and funniness. Good luck, brother. Thank you, Miss Paula and Mr. James. We now will have the couple to be with. Now pronounce their vows to one another. Let us pray. O oh, Almighty God, you have created us all in the image of love, the image of yourself. Bless now these two who stand before you. Guide them in your wisdom. Shine your light upon them, that as they journey through this life together, they will walk as bearers of your truth. Amen. Michael, do you take duty for your wedded life? To be loved and cherished, for better or worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, from this day forward. If so, you may say, I do. I do. Judy, do you take Michael as your wedded husband, to be loved and cherished, for better or worse, for richer or poor, in sickness and in health, from this day forward? I do. We now will have the writings or token of faith presented for one another now. Bless, O oh Lord, the giving of these writings, that they who wear them may live in your peace and your favor all the days of their life, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. As you place this gift on your partner's finger, I ask that you will repeat these words. This ring is my sacred gift to you, a symbol of my love, a sign that from this day forward, and always, my love will surround you. With this ring I the wed, will have the groom Michael go first. This ring is my sacred gift to you, a symbol of love, a sign, from this day forward. And always. And always, my love will round you, with this ring I wed. Hehehe, <laughs> sir, round, not round. Whatever. <laughs> uh, this ring is my sacred gift to you, a symbol of my love, a sign that from this day forward, and always, my love will surround you. With this ring, I wed, thee wed, I wed thee. I now present both Michael and Judy Lyons, 
Michael, you may pierce the bride. Well, she actually did something right. He is indeed handsome and a good talker. Yay, Aunt Judy. That's my best girl ever. Stop. Stop everything. Wait, what?